If you have a Windows laptop or desktop and you're connecting it to a view board with touch, there are some pro tips, some configuration things that we recommend to make sure you get the best experience. So let's start a little basic just with extended desktop. So in Windows, you're going to want to right click on the desktop and get into your display settings. Now, Windows will tell you, right, that you have uh, two desktops here. So you can see I have my laptop over here and then my view board here. If you ever get confused, just hit that identify button and you'll see numbers appear on both screens identifying which is which. This is especially helpful if you have like a laptop um, or something that's in a dock or a desktop and you have uh, more than a couple extra monitors. So one thing to remember is that you can rearrange these to be in different positions. So for example, uh, I like this setup because one is to the left of two, which means if I drag my mouse across uh, screens, it's going to line up correctly. So first, rearrange all of your monitors. Now, the second thing that we see sometimes that uh, pops up is uh, touch issues. So for example, I have a touch surface laptop and then the view board is touched. So how does Windows decide uh, who's the boss, so to speak? So sometimes you might notice if you're touching on the view board, nothing's happening on desktop two and all of your touches are showing up on desktop one. Uh, this can definitely happen if you have uh, more than three monitors connected. So this is something again that Windows just gets confused about what's happening. So the way that you can uh, overcome or fix this issue is to select the view board, which again is usually number two, or if you're confused, identify. And then you're going to want to scroll down. Now I'm running Windows 11 here. Uh, if you're on Windows 10, you probably got to scroll uh, even further down and you're going to see this option that says make this my main display. So essentially what we're doing is we're telling Windows to make the view board the main display. If you select that, uh, you'll see some flashes. It'll do some screen switching, but then the view board is now your main display. And if you were having any touch issues, those touch issues uh, should work no problem. Now, if you're ever having calibration issues, like you feel like the touch is off, something you can try just as a test is go to the home button on your view board that takes you to the view board home screen, open the menu and choose settings. Under preferences, what you wanna look for is you wanna look for these touch options. Now this board doesn't have what we call Windows Ink, but some of our models has what's called Windows Ink on it. If you're having some touch issues or it's not lining up, try disabling Windows Ink to see if that fixes it and aligns everything. Of course, if you're still having problems with touch and or alignment, be sure to reach out to us at customer service and we're happy to help you troubleshoot those.